Okay, so today we're talking about how to reconstitute nasal spray peptides. When you buy a kit with us, you're going to get your water, your peptide, and your nasal spray container, alcohol pad to clean everything off, and your mixing needle. The first step is going to be to remove the plastic stoppers from the peptide and from the water. You just pull it out, move it to the side, pull it out, move it to the side. Next step is to clean up the top of the water and the peptide with an alcohol pad. Next step is going to be to put your needle together. And this is how it looks like. You just get it in, align it, and twist it in clockwise. You're going to uncap your needle. You're gonna pull back the amount of water that you're going to try to get from your water, which is in this case, I'm gonna start with two milliliters. You're going to insert the needle into the water in the middle section as such. You're gonna push the air in. And suck the water out. You're only gonna go to two milliliters. The next step is going to get those two milliliters of water into your peptide. You're going to put it directly inside and let the water naturally go in as such. We're now going to wait until this peptide is completely clear. It's gonna take approximately two to three minutes. This is a technique that I like to use to not ever shake the peptide. Peptides are sensitive, but to make sure that all the product gets mixed in. And again, this is gonna go about two to three minutes. The next step is going to be to draw this peptide into this vial. As so, cap it. You're gonna do the same concept, but in reverse. Poke it in. Pull. Make sure you draw it all the way through until there's no more liquid into your peptide. Next step is to put the peptide into the vial, the spray vial as so. You wanna go slowly and at an angle so it does not hit too hard. The last step is going to draw the remaining water from your water vial into the spray vial. After you draw the water, you're going to put it in time after time. You're gonna put in three milliliter intervals until you reach 10 milliliters of water into your spray vial. Now I'm adding the final two milliliters of water. In total, you should have 10 milliliters of product into your spray vial. That means two for the peptide and eight millimeters of additional water. Final step is to cap your peptide all the way through. Make sure it's nice and tight and do another minute of swirling. And that is it. That is how you reconstitute nasal spray peptides.